my name is Nikolai. And this is the Great Danish Bake Off. Um, today we're going to make Hinbærsnitter, a traditional Danish cake, um, directly translated into raspberry bars or slices. Um, we're going to show you how to make the short crust dough. And then some of us are using a board raspberry jam. And some of us are going to try to make the jam ourselves. In my defense, this is the first time I'm baking, so I think I'm allowed some help. Definitely. definitely. Um, then we're going to decorate the cakes in the end, and we'll see who wins. So 250 grams of flour, 70 grams of icing sugar, One teaspoon of baking soda, butter cut into small pieces to make it easier to get all the things together afterwards. And it's salted butter and it's from Duopak. And then I'm just going to, with my hands, mix it all together and perhaps I need a little bit of water just to to get everything together, but I'll try with that first. Pressure? Uh, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not used to this, so... I don't know, am I doing it right? Should I just uh, put my hands? Yep. Here we go. Maybe I should take it off the scale. Can you describe the feeling? It's a very uh, strange consistency, I must admit. Okay, getting somewhere. I think we need some, some water. Yes. Should I just right pour it all in at once? No. Or? Okay. Just a tiny bit at a time. Okay. Perhaps it's not necessary. A tiny bit? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, not more than that. Not more than that. Okay. Sure. Okay. So I guess at some point this is gonna become a dough. I don't know. Maybe in a few hours or start to look right. Okay. It's actually not that hard. Lifting up. It's pretty good. I'm not completely satisfied because we're using um, hot butter and I wanted to use cold butter and the trick with short crust dough is to touch it as little as possible. So now it's like a dough and I want to put it in the fridge for 20 minutes or so just to make sure that it's cold and that will be easier to roll out um, the right shape. So right now I just want to boil it for 7 to 10 minutes uh, at low heat just to make um, it a bit thicker so it can stay on the cake later. What? 
Okay, so uh, Maria decided to make her own raspberry jam. I decided to go with a local jam uh, from the local uh, store. So, um, yeah. Let's see if uh, she can top it. Okay, so uh, now the dough has been in the, the fridge for uh, about half an hour. And um, it's time to, to roll it out and uh, shape it in the whatever shape you like. I want to score some points on the aesthetic side, so uh, I chose to do the uh, Old University logo. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see how that goes. Okay. So maybe I should try to squeeze it first or... Should I do smaller chunks? Not, not uh, more than two. I'm not quite sure about the thickness, but I'm told it has to be like close to three millimeters. So, I don't know. Perhaps this is close? Maybe I should just try. So usually I would use something with a sharper edge, but we don't have that, so this is a very good um, alternative. So now I'll just remove this, these pieces of the dough, and then I have a perfectly round, kind of perfectly round shape. And remember that you need two pieces because we're going to lay them on top afterwards. So two pieces to one cake. Yeah. I just try to keep the marmalade up approximately one millimeter from the edges so when I press down all the jam won't like squeeze out.
um, raspberry bars resemble the uh, Aarhus University logo and uh, I have chosen to use a uh, local jam well, it's something I bought at the grocery store um, I made a traditional, kind of traditional Danish birthday cake um, usually we get either a birthday guy or a birthday girl I chose the girl um, even though she's missing hair it's kind of typical to uh, to do the cake in raspberry bars like this one and usually it would be a lot bigger so you could feed your entire family or um, the entire class with cake in denmark when we, when we celebrate birthday we use our danish flag as i believe one of the only countries in the world we do that so it's very special for uh, danes with the flag in Denmark we have the tradition, when we cut the cake, we usually cut it at the head, and then we scream. So, get ready! Ah! Yes. So, uh, yeah, besides being uh, holding the camera all day, uh, I've gotten the tremendous honor of being the judge of our small bake-off. So I'm really looking forward to, to see who did the best. The beginner Nikolai or the pro Maria. Um, yeah, so let's see. I'm gonna just cut into them and uh, let's see. Should I take the raspberry now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, nice crunch. Yeah, but different stuff. Now you're killing it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, the dough is really good, the short crust dough, really crispy, so that's really nice. I just like the blue fingers, I must say. Um, I think it's a great addition with the, the fresh raspberry on top. That's, um, yeah, I think uh, for a first try, it's really done well. Um, only minus is perhaps uh, <laughs> the not homemade jam, which is kind of sweet. And, um, and perhaps the dough is just a tad thick. But um, yeah, solid. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, try the birthday girl here. I'm just gonna cut off an arm. Yeah. We like the darkness of the birthday ritual in the market. Again, just a tad thick crust, but the crunch is awesome. Um, I think this uh, recipe we, we are working with today has baking powder in it, so it's gonna rise. So it's a, like a common issue even if you roll it out quite th thin. Um, I like the tartness of the homemade jam, so. Um, but otherwise they're quite similar actually. Um, again, really a solid cake. Uh, who can eat uh, raspberry bars. Yeah, so uh, we're pretty happy with this result. Uh, so Nikolai is eating uh, <laughs> cake in the background. But uh, I've considered it thoroughly. Um, Nikolai, he did a really great crust. Um, it's so crunchy, like it has a great snap. That's awesome. Um, Maria did a perfect homemade jam. Uh, so they both both have uh, advantages. Like, But I think all in all, uh, I must pronounce Nikolai the winner <laughs> because uh, just to get the cake to jam ratio is um, more on point with him and the AU logo. Who, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. So congratulations, Nikolai. How do Thanks. you feel? I feel awesome. It's uh, yeah. I think it's uh, it's pretty good for mm -hmm. uh, first time. It is actually the first time I I bake anything mm -hmm. on my own, so I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the result. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks. So proud. Yeah. So now we're looking really forward to seeing you trying uh, the recipe at home. We will link to it uh, everywhere. Um, yeah, and post pictures of it because it's really easy to make and uh, only ingredients you can find in your local store. Yeah. Nice baking with you. Bye. <laughs>